Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my homemade blueberry syrup. So the first thing that I do is I make sure that I have a pan with water that's on simmer so that when I'm ready to put my jars in there to can that the water is already boiling. And I also have in this small pan hot water so that I can put my lids in there to sterilize the lids. And as far as my jars, I have them filled, half filled with water. I place them in my microwave so this way here they're sterilized and they're also hot. I like to have my everything hot as far as my jars and to sterilize the lids. You need to do that. And the reason why you want your jars hot is because I'll be putting hot blueberry syrup in the hot jars and I don't want my jars to crack. And once the blueberry syrup is in the jars, then I'll be putting them in my, bath, my water bath. So what I'm going to do now is you can either mash them or put them in a blender. I'm going to use seven cups of prepared blueberries. And what I mean by prepared is that all the blueberries are mashed or either pureed in your blender. I have a scale on my blender and it'll let me know when I have reached the seven cups. Make sure all your blueberries are washed and all the stems are taken off too before you even do mash them or put them in your blender. I meant to say that earlier. Now that I have my seven cups of prepared blueberries, I'll place them in my pot on my stove on medium high. To my prepared blueberries, I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice, and you want to mix this, bring it to a boil, and then simmer for 10 minutes. And keep it boiling for exactly 10 minutes. Make sure you're stirring it so that this way here it doesn't burn on the bottom. After I'm done boiling it for 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is I have a strainer with some cheesecloth and I'm going to pour it through that strainer with the cheesecloth. This way here, if there's any seeds or any skins that didn't get mashed up or pureed in my mixer, it'll filter through that and then I'll have nice clear syrup, nice clear blueberry syrup. Now that my 10 minutes is up, I'm going to turn my heat off. And I'll pour it through my strainer with the cheesecloth into another pan. Now that I strained my blueberries through the strainer and cheesecloth, I'm going to put it back on the burner. Put my stove back on medium high and I'll add my seven cups of sugar and then I'll bring that to a boil and let it boil for exactly one minute. That was two cups. Here's the four. And here's my last cup to make seven. And I have my stove on medium high. And I'll keep stirring this until it comes to a boil. And like I said, boil it for exactly one minute. Put it on my cutting board. 
Okay, now I'm going to place my syrup in my jars. And it'll be a fourth of an inch from the top. So I'll fill some of them and then go back and refill to see how far I need to fill it. And my jars are piping hot. Now I'm going to see how much more I have to fill it. Like I said, it's going to be a fourth from the top. You want to wipe off the rim to make sure you don't have any syrup on top. I had my lid sterilizing inside this hot water. Make sure to press down on it. And then tighten the ring around the jar. And I'll repeat this process for the rest of the jars. In my syrup made nine eight ounce jelly jars and you want to make sure that there's about two inches of water over the top of these so what I did is I had some water that I had pre-boiling in my pot behind here I'll take some of this hot water and just add it Now I'll let my syrup jars boil for 10 minutes. Now that my blueberry syrup has been in the water bath for 10 minutes boiling, I'm going to remove the jars and place them on the wire rack to cool. Before using your blueberry syrup, I would wait 24 hours before using it. But before that, make sure you hear a ping or a pong. And that means that the lid has sealed. And if you don't hear that or if you don't see it when you press it down on your thumb, it didn't seal. Put it in your refrigerator and use it. But once you put your thumb down and it doesn't spring back, then it has sealed. But you will hear like a little ping. And that means that the jar has sealed properly but wait 24 hours before using the syrup. So that's it for making homemade blueberry syrup. And I thank you so much for watching and trying this recipe and I'll see you next video. And please follow me on Facebook under Cheryl's Home Cooking. Follow me on Twitter at Home Cooking with C. And please visit my website, Cheryl's Home I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.